may have a few badges at home, but I bet you haven't got 150,000. <laughs> First ever badge was the Walls Ice Cream Curb Driller. Children would buy an ice cream and they would see the ice cream van and rush across the road and get run over. So there were various road safety campaigns and the ice cream companies would sponsor them. The one everybody knows of course is the Tufty Club. In the 1950s we had a mini explosion of badges through television and promotional advertising. In the 60s we've got the CND campaigns and the Beatles, but really it was 1977 when it went crazy. So what happened into the 80s, millions of badges were made. Not just for rock and, and pop, but it was the item to give away to promote your product. Millions were made and Frank owns most of them. He's Britain's biggest badger. When he finds one, he likes to get the set. These two badges I've had for years and just thought they were hippie flower power. And then we discovered the Jackie magazine promotional piece for a certain brand of ice cream in 1970. You're missing this one, so you'd like yeah. someone to give you honky-tonk love. I would, I would love someone to give you honky-tonk love, yes. What makes a classic badge? classic badge is a, a badge that would have been worn by a lot of people and people remember certain badges. Now I had one of those, a Blue Peter badge, wow. I had a Prefix badge, I didn't have a Girl Guide badge. But I did have a World Cup willy. I've still got it. So do you think some of these badges actually changed the world? They had an effect, they helped promote the, the whole ethos of, the, of their campaigns and uh, get the message across to people because people in those days did wear badges more. There's badges up and down Britain, and they don't just come out at night. On October the 17th, we're having our annual swap meet. Is it one for one? It might be one for one, or I might give you one and you might give me three. It oh. depends how we value them. Why would I give you three? You might give me three if there was one I'd got you really wanted. Oh, OK. <laughs> just like being in the playground with the old West Ham <laughs> cards. <laughs> what, what would be a badge that you would give a lot of other badges for? Well, I wouldn't like you find a Lester Foss badge would be great, but uh, even the old holiday camp ones I like. And it all started with this one badge in 1960. So be careful what your children wish for. This is Jeremy Nicholas for East Midlands Today in Loughborough.